Alright guys, Paco Slim here with a new Lex Luthor story trailer, which kind of reveals what side he's on, but what's got more people talking is what's in it. Check it out, then I'm going to break it down. Peggy 16 I knew what the regime was capable of. When the world went to hell, I was there to help society accept the inevitable. Batman is the face of the insurgency. If he dies, it dies with him. I'm giving you a chance. End this without further bloodshed. Too late. <laughs> Most people join the regime for one of two reasons. Either they hoped it would establish a world of peace, or they were simply too afraid to take a stand. My rationale is much simpler. I always choose the winning side. So right now we're going to go through the trailer. Starts off with the Daily Planet. Uh, we see more shots of regime soldiers. And we see Lex Luthor outside of the mech suit. We see some more shots that we've seen in previous trailers, including Batman and stuff. We see that shot once again. We see Lex Luthor talking to somebody. Okay, we get more shots. He's being held up by Joker goons, it looked like. Um, now this particular shot, which has everybody talking, is, that appears to be Black Adam. I mean, who else could it be? He uses lightning-based attacks or electricity or whatever. And he has a giant Shazam logo on his chest. So, we get to see more cutscene shots, we get to see gameplay, and... We see more shots, him, you know, attacking both Black Adam and Hawk Girl. We see more shots of the regime. We see gameplay all around the, uh, basically spots everywhere. We get to see a new shot outside of the watchtower that we have yet to see before. And that is the end of the particular trailer. It shows the collector's edition. This was a UK commercial, so it shows that version of the collector's edition. Um, one thing that has gotten me very curious about the trailer itself is... Well, for starters, will Black Adam be playable? Um, if he is, and that means one of my predicted characters would be in, but one thing I've kind of been curious about is, in all of the posts showing it, none of them even address that Black Adam is in the trailer. So, is this going to be a case where we're going to see a character, and then there's going to be no talk of the character until the game comes out, like Raven? I don't know. Um... What I thought was kind of bizarre is it's not very clear what side Lex Luthor is on. Because he says that the only hope is Batman because he's from the insurgency and he's leading it. But at the same time later he says many people support the regime because they're either too afraid or they believe in the cause. But he says he picks his side because he believes in the winning team and that kind of implies that he's with the, the regime. I don't think that's the case and I think it was just bizarre wording because I'm pretty sure Lex is siding with Batman. But still. So now I'm going to talk about Black Adam's design real quick. Um, I think it looks fine. I actually like the look of it. But one thing has got me puzzled. Why is he bald? I mean, I it may be just a design choice, but I don't know. Just Maybe it was a bad angle or something, but it appears he's bald. So it's just kind of a weird look for Black Adam. I'm used to seeing him having a little hair. So I don't know. Anyway, leave your opinions below and see ya.